Hello and welcome to www.luxurytolast.com. Today we're talking collecting watches and today we're talking bargain buys. A lot of people ask me, are there any really good bargains out there in the marketplace? And I would have to say there are always bargains there. And um, today is no exception. You've just got to be on the lookout for beautiful buys. Now, let me tell you a story firstly. Many years ago, when I uh, just joined the workforce, the year was 1990, I, uh, I wanted an inexpensive Rolex. I just started uh, my working career and I, I wanted a watch. So I said to a friend who was a jeweler, I said, just get me the cheapest Rolex you can. And uh, my jeweler got me a Rolex 1016 Explorer 1. Now that particular model there was an L serial number and uh, a 1016 Explorer 1. Uh, the next year it became a Sapphire model. And uh, anyhow, to cut a long story short, I actually sold the piece many years later for many times what I paid for it. And uh, I bought that piece new. So the funny thing is I had a friend at the time who said, oh, geez, that's not a proper Rolex. It doesn't have the big Rolex logo on it. It doesn't have a date. Geez, why did you buy that? And um, if only I could tell him that uh, that became one of the, the hottest sports watches around. Now, buying vintage pieces today is no exception. There are bargains there. And um, today I'm going to talk bargain pieces and um, let's have a look at a, a classic dress watch. Now the piece on the screen here that you've, you've seen is a Vacheron and Concertine. It's a little gentleman's 18 karat yellow gold dress watch. Now the condition here is an unrestored piece and uh, I actually bought this piece from a, a, uh, a dealer that I've known for about 10 years. Uh, this is a dealer in Australia, Armadale Watch Gallery. And um, I've always, the funny thing is people have said to me, oh look, how can you buy from a dealer? You, you're not going to make any money. You, you, you've, you've, um, he's, he's made sure there's no profit left in it. But I must say, with Shawnee from Armadale Watch Gallery, I've always bought things from him and resold them for a profit. And I've always, I've also sold him pieces and I've made money. So I, um, I, um, I certainly can't complain. Now the piece here is a Vacheron and Concertine. Vacheron and Concertine, they dropped the and about 1970. So this one here is a, is a 1960s Vacheron and Concertine gentleman's watch. Now let's have a look at it. It's a little bit small by modern standards. And you've also got to remember the time in which this piece was released. In the um, going back to the 60s, and um, you've got to remember the mindset was the best watches were thin and made of a precious metal. So this piece here in 18 karat gold, if you look at it, it's made to look as thin as possible and it's made to, to be as small as possible. So, looking at this piece, by modern standard, you'd say, oh, it's a bit small. But, if you, if you appreciate where it's coming from, and the ethos at the time, um, you can understand that this is actually quite a nice piece. The movement, it's got the most beautiful reference 1001 um, Vacheron movement in it. And um, that's certainly a thing about this watch, is that the the movement itself is is absolutely gorgeous. It's an 18 joule adjusted to five position movement. And uh, the thing I like about this watch is that it's got the the little sub seconds at the six. And um, I think I, th I don't think it's it, it, it's terribly terribly bad. This piece here, it's got the correct movement for the case. It, it's it's an original piece, so it, it hasn't been dicked around with. Um, this is unrestored condition. And uh, I'll reveal the, pi the pi pi price I paid for it. For this piece here, I paid $2,200. And um, it's going to need a service and a polish. It's got a little ding on the side there. 
um, and I'll, I'll try and get my my polisher to get that 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 out. This the so 2200. I'll get it through my get it serviced through my my watch guy would probably be about a hundred dollars, and to get the it professionally polished, it'd probably be about another fifty to a hundred dollars. So twenty four hundred dollars, and we've got an 18 carat gold yellow gold gentleman's dress watch a Vacheron and concertine now they don't come much better than than Vacheron and concertine that's for sure I mean VC is uh, it's up there with Patek Audemars Piaget Breguet and of course Lange so it's one of the top five so this piece here for twenty four hundred dollars when it comes back from being serviced and polished it's going to be an absolute cracker of a watch, and um, I think it's 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 a it's a beautiful piece to have in your collection. And uh, you can see the photos I've taken of my modern Patek Calatrava next to the Vacheron, and um, I don't think it's out of company. I think the two pieces are both exquisite, and um, the thing is, the Vacheron itself at two four. It's about um, six times less expensive than my modern Patek. So um, it's up to you to, to decide what is, what is, is uh, true bargains or not. And I, I think myself, the Vacheron itself, I love the 60s simplicity of it, the, the simple, the seconds uh, at the six. It's a beautiful manual wind movement. Um, sure, it's a bit small by modern standards, but what's wrong with having a beautiful small gents dress watch in your collection there? And um, I, I think the VC name, Vacheron and Concertine, you can't get better than that. I mean, that's that's um, the only thing better than that is Patek. Um, I mean, if this was a, a Patek, same size. I mean, Patek did pieces um, like this too in the 60s. Um, the fashion for big pieces is is a modern is a modern occurrence, and um, if it, if it had the Patek Patek, the label is 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 stronger, and um, you'd you'd have to be paying uh, at least another two thousand dollars if it was a Patek piece in similar sort of condition. Um, so so there you have it, a Vacher and Concertine, um, gents, nineteen sixties. The reference number, it's a six four zero five. And I think that's just extraordinary buying for the bargain shopper. And uh, I think it's a piece you can be proud of and um, certainly a piece to keep in the collection and to, to hand on to the children. And um, I don't think you can go wrong. So there we have it. Bargain buy watches. And that was a Vacheron and Concertine. And uh, please don't forget to come to my free website, www.luxurytolast.com. Thank you.